Okay, it's September 21st, 2017, approximately 10 o'clock in the a.m. Project, next project on the Project F100 is to fix this nasty old door. I've got a patch panel here that I've got here. Uh, as is unfortunately most patch panels on the market, it's a China, Taiwan, Japanese, I don't know, somebody, somewhere besides USA. And the result, it doesn't fit very well. In order to make this body line hit the right spot on the door, like I have it now, I don't know if you'll see this or not, but there's a ginormous gap between the bottom of the patch panel and the bottom of the door. Uh, that's not a big deal, I don't guess. That's we're kind of making a new door here anyway. Uh, but that's what we're going to start on next. And as you can see, this door is in very, not, well, it's in pretty rough shape. Uh, tons of pitting. Here's the big issue though, is right here, the rust through. See the surface rust goes all the way up to there where it's been ground on. And this is mostly my fault. I project set for a long time. I started stripping this door. I did not finish it, left it in the dirt. So I've got to cut out this bottom of the outs outer door and I've got to cut, do the same thing on the inside of the door. Um, could be, could have been patched with small patches, but I wanted this to last as long as possible. So I'm placing the whole panel. Sorry for making you dizzy with this camera angle, but anyway, this is the start of our new episode. So if you're still interested, stay tuned. I'm going to try to show this process by process. I've got a few other things on projects on this door besides just the rest repair. So stay tuned. Okay. Here's where I started. I took me a Sharpie, nice silver Sharpie, made me a line that's nine inches above the bottom of my door with the current panel. Cause this one is only nine inches and it's hanging down farther, my patch panel. So I know this line will always be there. I will scribe me a line across here to show my, to find my cut mark. And we will, then I can always measure off this spot. I can know that from the bottom of my door to this line is going to be nine inches. I uh, got this idea from a fellow YouTuber. Uh, his name escapes right now. I'll make sure to give him credit later. Um, so, just wanted to pause and show that line here, close to that line, and we'll get back to work. Okay, here we go. Got my panel in place. Using me a nice pick. Uh, describe this mark. I'm going to try anyway. Because the sharper makes a little bit fatter mark. Like. So I'm hoping with the rust on this door and everything, I'll be able to get this apart. This old-fashioned old ice pick. It's tool, and uh, we'll have a much sharper line. And it turned out okay. It's a little hard to see. I'll probably I'll run a bead of tape on it probably, to so I can see it better. Um, it's like we're about ready to try to make a cut here. Um, you go get tools ready for that. I kind of missed that for that. Be right back. What I was doing there, you can see us on the camera or not, 
So I grind that edge so I can get these two halves separated. There's a little crack there now. So that's what that was about. Turned the door over, propped it up so I can see better and spell image.
Okay, here we are. Quick side note. As you saw, I did not have hearing protection or safety glasses on. I should be wearing both. So, uh, the safety glasses, I don't worry about as much as I have these eyeglasses, which I know, so I know it's not exactly right, but I will have ear protection later. But, you can see we've got this loose. Whoa, bad shot. So we can see we've got this loose now. And it's ready to come come apart. So we'll flop the door over here in a second and make a cut. All right, we're ready to make a cut. Put me a piece of masking tape along my scribe line. Actually, you can just barely make it out, it looks like. But anyway, and we're going to be using my grinder with a cutoff wheel. I'm going to try to stay just below that tape. And that should give us a little room for adjustment. Okay, had to put the guard back in place. Uh, oh, here we go. Guess there's no turning back now.
And there we are. There's holes there that I showed before. You can see it's rusty all through there. There's another spot. I guess it wasn't all the way through, but as you can see, it was pretty bad shape. Back up so you can see. Pretty bad shape. Uh, your inner door. And here's our holes I was talking about. On the, put that out and patch. After a second look, though, I may just treat that rust and go with it. I don't know. Oh, I did cut a little bit too far up here. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll do a little cleaning up, and we'll be back when I get back to doing some more interesting work. Okay, we're back on our doors here. Um, I've decided to go ahead and use my whole patch panel. It's just a little worried about that rust coming through on me later. Uh, it doesn't fit perfect, but it's, it's usable. I made me a template uh, showing my shape of this door here on cardboard. As I said, it doesn't match exactly. But Marshall hand side and the keeper side. That's for this shape here at the bottom of the door. So I can adjust that accordingly. Um, I took my ice pick here. Uh, made me a scribe line. Along there I'm going to cut. I'm going to use the patch panel as my edge because the door panels will come right down here to this edge. So it should hide in a uh, bad butter on my dear just it'll look like it's always meant that way um, then I'll just have to finish out here on the edges to match them up um, this style on here doesn't match exactly uh, I don't know what I'll do about that exact I'll try to work that in as best I can I suppose um, and we're about ready to cut this out. I really, really concerned about that side line, but we'll see what happens with it. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, what I've decided to do is just patch this area. I'm going to, I've already made two marks, I'm going to cut off here and here. So I'll get rid of all the bad rust. And let's be to a pretty good spot down here. There's some, still some rust there, but I think it'll be okay after a treatment maybe with some fast edge or evapor rust. I'm going to make me a mark here. Uh, just a little ways down from there so I can get lots of strength and it's a flat spot to grind. I started to go here in the curve, but I don't have a die grinder. And if I did, I'm afraid it would be hard to get smooth. So let's, I'm going to go here instead. Hopefully that will make it fly enough and easy to grind. So set the camera back here. You can see me mark There we go, that's better. Should be able to see me there. I'm taking a paint stirring stick and my, my sharpie. kind of arbitrary. Oh my goodness. I was trying to say this line is just kind of arbitrary. just want something reasonably straight. Because I'm going to come back and after I cut this out I'll, use, I'll hold my patch panel up here 
right in that template for it. So, we ended up with, it's okay, you don't think. Grab the camera real fast. And that's what I came up with. Don't know how well you could see that when I was doing it. But. So our next step will be to cut that out and we'll make our patch panel to fit it. So we'll see what happens. Hold, hold tight. Okay, I got me some hearing protection this this time. Uh, while I was using my grinder to cut out. Here's what I ended up with. There's how there's where I cut out the panel. Then I took my new patch. We laid it in place. And then I got underneath the table and made my mark. So press that out. I want to go uh, sit this in a vise. I don't have anybody to hold it for me. And we will cut it out and leaving that line because I'd rather be too big than too small. I uh, will pick up, up the video back up there. All right. Here is our patch. It lined up perfectly there, but they're going to have to tack it. Body work it into place a little bit, but. There's a slot I cut in, like these, for a drain. Um, looks like I got a little bit higher than these other ones, but should still do the job. And then this side is just kind of loose in there right now, but it's like, and I've got ready for some welding here. So let's see, I'll see if I can get this tacked in and see how we look. Okay. In the, uh, line of going's not going so well. Here's where I was, I was trying to tack this in. See I blew a hole in there. Here is even worse. Blew holes plus got hunks of wire in there so and there's another one that didn't stick. When, so I haven't got my voltage adjusted right and my skill down and I'm lacking in skill. But here's the welder I'm using. It's a Hobart to me. Uh, it's a handler 190 and using a 25 uh, 75 25 argon and co2 mixture uh, i've never welded before other than just playing with this welder when i first bought it um try to make a video of that and modifying this harbor freight cart so it would fit uh, fyi if you're getting the cheap harbor freight cart it will not fit this 190 uh it was originally, the top was originally angled. It's made for like a 140, 135 amp range welder. So keep that in mind. Uh, I did have to modify mine. It's in the razor shelf. I've got a piece of uh, OSB back there holding the shelf back in the back. So. so I'm going to take this back off, clean it up, and get uh, good edges again, and we'll try it again. Okay, we're getting better, believe it or not. That was there, the ball on the screen. Right, this one right here, middle of the screen now, was my third attempt, I guess. Uh, it didn't work so well, but get the camera to focus. That one's not bad. And then I went down here. Put me a tack there, which is pretty good. I've got way too much gap down here. It's going to require some work. There's my clamp. And then my last weld I just did was that one there. And I'm trying to get a picture of my penetration. Looks pretty good. And I just really can't see those. But anyway, uh, so we're getting better. My memory's showing my bad welds here is to give anybody who's out there like me who was afraid to try to weld with 
the sheet metal with the MIG welder to go ahead and try it. It's, it's not easy. And I'm far from being an expert or even good, but it can be done. So I'm going to try to do some more tacking and moving and we'll uh, show you here when we get done welding. Okay. I wanted to show my failures and successes here. There's some holes blowed in there. You'll see, should be able to see some wire in there. It kind of broke off on me. But here I was doing pretty good. It's not pretty, but I think it'll hold. There's another big hole I blowed out I wanted to show you. And then I tried to stitch that up, it didn't work so well. So on my holes, what I'm going to do, go over here and grab it. I'm going to use this a copper backer. This is the one I made. It's a one inch piece of copper pipe. I smashed the end of it to a little angle so I can kind of get it up in there. You see I've played with it, used it before. Uh, that allows me to fill up these holes and the weld won't stick to the copper but it gives me a backing. It helps to fill these holes so I'm going to work on that next and I'll be back with you but I wanted to show you this weld in its natural state uh, before I ground the, use the grinder or anything so be back shortly. Okay here's what I ended up with after grinding. I do have some pinholes but overall, I am satisfied. There you might be, see the light shining through there, I think. And there's some holes there, but I'm gonna use a stranded body filler on it. I think that'll more than take care of it. I'm pretty satisfied for my first time ever welding a patch panel in. Uh, of course, I've got to finish up the edges here. I was just doing that edge and I wanted to finish it up and take a look at it. Uh, I'm going to try to make a little bit shorter videos, so I'm stopping work today at this point, so I think I will also end this episode, which is episode 6, um, with this clip. So, uh, if you're enjoying this at all, uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll just keep showing my little step-by-step -step things. Uh, little side note, like I said earlier, if uh, any of you guys out there are Scared to weld, get you a little MIG welder. It's not, it's not too bad. Um, a little more practice, I think I'll be, be a lot better. Like you can see what I've done here on my basically first attempt. I did practice on some scrap before a few weeks ago, but this is the first time actually welding in a panel. So I just want to encourage anybody who's trying, who thinks they might want to try to learn to weld, just go out. If you can afford to buy your welder, go out and get one. Get some metal and start practicing. So, once again, I'll end the video here. And if uh, you're enjoying these, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.